got a call. 12.30 Sunday, I'm on call this weekend uh, for the meat department. I'm gonna head over there right now. Uh, it's gonna be a few hours before I even get there. It's gonna be a while. So I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Okay, just got to my location. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the rack house, which is up here on the roof. Got my condensers. This store is going under a remodel right now. So there's a lot of things on the roof. And uh, one side of my dual temp case is empty. Found a pan heater on and it's not cooling. So let's dig into this. All right, so I'm in the motor room. This is the rack I need to work on right here. Take my alarm. Go to alarm. Somebody marked so geniusly because that helps us out a lot. Get my flashlight out. I found system 14. That's an EPR. Then in the back, I got hot gas that goes into my suction line right here. Both of those, the hot gas defrost is de energized, so it's not in defrost. And my EPR solenoid is energized and I basically just use my little screwdriver like everyone else does feel the magnetic pull on that that indicates it's energized so um, I really don't need to look up here because I know everything up here is working properly again I got one of the cases that are reaching temp and that's on this same cir uh, circuit 14 so I'm gonna head back downstairs and uh, my problem should be down there. Okay, I'll see you when I get back down. Okay, I'm over here. Came down to the case. This is what I found on my dual temp. 40. Got a solenoid here. That controls my, that runs off of the thermostat for my medium temp. And then EPR up at the rack when it's in the low temp. This will stay wide open, which the EPR will control my low temp. And what I found was that this is my dual temp thermostat, which is under the case here. Uh, if you can see that one there. And then I got another one right there. Well, one's for this side of the case, and the other one's for the other side of the case. What I found that this one is the one that was wired into this side of the case, but instead this bulb was ran onto my other side of the case, which is frozen. So it was never turning on because it was already freezing point. So it's not gonna it's not gonna be controlled at all. My my um, solenoid doesn't matter. It's just gonna be um, on all the time. And then this one. So what I gotta do is that this one's around to this case. So what I gotta do is I gotta rewire them and um, put them the way they should be, and then. 
this thermostat would cycle this case in a medium temp. So let me do that and I'll get back with you. Okay, so this is my low temp, medium temp. I'm about to re uh, rewire these. This is my thermostat for the other side. And this is my thermostat for this side. So I'm gonna take these wires, wired into here, and these wires wired into there. All right, see when I'm done. Okay, got it all done. Wired it up, zip tied everything. Remember you guys, gotta make it look nice when you're done. Okay, so rewired everything. This side thermostat is for this side. I rewired that, that's set for the temperature already. This one's for the other side. So that one's set already. Put the case back together. And my temperatures, my average temperature is 32.4, which is good. This is for um, fresh meat. I'll probably just raise it up just a hair. And then, um, that should do it. Alright guys, um, I'm out of here. No other calls behind me right now, so I'm going to head home. See you on the next one.